Welcome back to Lillybrook, part two of the Winner 500 sub. Andy and I took the honours in the first match. We were one up. We went for the nearest to pin on the 11 and we all got suckered into that front pin and we all missed. Right, so match number two. I'm going to change it up now. I'm going to play with Jack. Andy's going to play with Rob. We're playing 13, 14, 15, 16. And then if necessary, we'll play the 17th, just uh, just over here. What are the shots on here? Um, I don't know. What index is it? Oh, you all get, right, they all get shots from me on the 15th hole. Hang on, you're off to, no, you don't get a shot because it's stroke four. Yeah. So Andy and, Andy and Jack get shots on the 15th hole. Who wants the honour? Me. Oh, oh, lovely shot with a rescue. A little short. It's on the flat, that's a good shot. It's that big high old slice over the tree. Middle of the fairway and charging right. Just a straight shot to the right edge of the fairway. Down into, oh, it's going down the hill. Not bad for an old man. Okay, we're we'll right by the hundred yard mark, eh? That's high and left. It's so awkward on this slope. In the wet hill and it's the wind. It's so easy to hit it on the left. Rob's on about 90. And that's a knife. That could well be the left hand. Oh no, he's gone. Wow, I think he's gone OB. I think he's gone OB. Uh, I got 55. I'll go with the 50 degrees, see if I can just control it. Boring but sensible shot. They haven't spotted Jacks yet. So this is why we took a little while finding the Jack. It's sat down and in a divot. And uh, that that really isn't very pretty. About the same as the yardage as me, about 55 I think. That's ugly mate. That's nice. That's so unlucky. Flag is back right. Quite a smelly flag back there. This is difficult. Oh, and that is incredibly unlucky. Unlucky twice on the same hole. That's just, uh, it's not cricket as they say. Let's go find my bag again. This is why you, my son should be on the camera today, but he's gone mountain biking. Clunk the tree again. I got this one, Jack. All right, so Andy is left here, up above the green, over the bunker. This is as hard as it comes. Come on, come on, get over. Wow. That landed two inches over the bunker. That is absolutely amazing. 
Rob didn't go over there. Oh, hear that sound. Landing on that down slope. It's held onto the side of the green though. Right, just the matter of the putting. I think I'm going to have two putts for it again. Oh, that's five and a half feet past. Yeah. Take it away. Never in doubt. What up? It's a bit tight. It dropped down though, didn't it? I didn't hear it hit timber, so it could be okay. That's, that's tight fine. as well. That's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, beauty. This is stroke eight, so Andy actually gets a shot off me here. You want a shot, Andy? I get a shot? Yeah, I forgot this was stroke eight. Okay, do I get one as well? No, you don't get one. I need one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need one. <laughs> right, if I can just get my breath back. Jack's been a little unlucky and held up there, but he was the tightest to the edge. It's got about 140. Flag is just over the step in the green, so this is awkward. Get on the edge. Hold up. Oh, it's just gone down the steps, across the path. Oh, that's unlucky. Well, that's amazing. We've all come down this very steep slope. They've cut the rough so the ball's not holding up. That's nice and high and out to the right, that's perfect. Front of the green. Who's up next? You. Me? Oh shit. Same as Andy, front right of the green. Yeah, you don't normally come all the way down here. They've, the ground is quite firm today and they have cut the rough, so there's nothing to stop your ball coming all the way down. Andy had about 105, I had about 100. I was gonna try nine iron, but I thought, no, what if you get a flyer, you go all the way off the back. 
the rod must be on about 80. I think that's his 52. I think he just caught it. Yeah, just caught it behind the ball. Right. Rob's just played up as well, so we are all aboard. Right. Three of us below the step in the green. Go. Goes hard right at the cut back. A bit like that. Ooh. Oh! Wow. Oh, this isn't in the yet. Oh. the same look. Hey. Oh, from there, four shots. It's ridiculous. Savage. Somebody switched off gravity there, I think. Half to five. Still one up. I try, I'm gagging for a drink. Oh, it's drifting right a bit. Yeah, just heard timber. That's a long one. That's down the line of the trees. Yeah, that's hit timber as well. Awkward bloody hole this, isn't it? That's heading for the left edge of the fairway. Oh, huge bounce left, and still going left. Yeah, this ground has really firmed up yeah. recently. Well, this 15th is an incredibly awkward hole, with the, uh, the fairway sort of offset to the left, and this line of trees down the right, and it kind of like suckers you into trying to hit a fade. Anyway, we've got two balls to find now. Oh, 
Right, so Andy's the wrong side of the tree, so he's got to get play on down the 16th. It's the only safe thing to do. He's hit timber again, unfortunately. Branched down. The Jax has been spat out into the fairway. So he's got a chance here of... Uh, well, obviously you can go for the green. He's a big lad, he's hitting it. He's really pumping the, uh, the ball out there. My watch says about 176, but it's it's well above our head to that green. What a sweet, sweet shot. Carried that all the way onto the green. That's absolutely outstanding. Right, so just like 14, the ground's firm, Rough's been cut. Rob's bounded almost down to the uh, the knee deep stuff. You you can't get over there in normal circumstances. You know, even if you hooked it, it would hold, hold up in the rough. But that's summer for you. It's got about 165, but coming up this hill, it's going to play two or even three clubs longer. I doubt you can reach. Wow, he's done well. He's got it out to the right. Maybe 20 yards short of the green. That's probably as good as he could do. Ta. For the record, that was about 141 five iron, and uh, it's just jumped up on the green. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. This back nine does it to you. Too many cigarettes. Bloody hell, that hill. I ain't getting any younger. Always oh, knifed it, knifed it off the back of the green. Jack's flown his all the way to the back, and I've got about 10, 11 feet. This is going to be a quick one. Yeah, it just doesn't stop. Is that you there, Andy? Yeah. Oh. I'm there. Oh, I thought that was you. I thought that was me. That's what I on Jack to secure the win.
Wow, that jumped. Nice four though, four net three. Yeah. Yeah. Two up, one to play. Thank you, gents. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was two up. Yeah. Another win. Right, we got some holes left to play. What do you want to do? Ooh. What? <laughs> Go home. <laughs> Go home or get to the bar. All right. Right, 16th. Double or nothing? Go on, then. Go on then, double or nothing, Jack and I. There wasn't enough space back here to get it far enough away for shot tracer. So we're just gonna sit it down and... That's a good ball. Just want to be a little further left of that if you can. You tell the match is over. When it goes, I didn't see it. Oh, oh it's right. in the trees, right? Is it? Yeah, that was atrocious. Oops. No, no. That's right, right. No, no it's got in the heavy, I think. Oh, that's, that's gone with me. So there were some quality tee balls. I'm to the right of the trees. Rob is in the uh, 16th, sorry, 15th fairway, which isn't a bad place to be, actually. And Jack, oh, Jack's ended up behind the poplar. Have you actually got a, a line? left edge of the green and it'll it'll run to the right Rob's down here playing that was Jack playing behind me Rob's playing he's got it up my turn to get it up oh no he hasn't he's short there's a bit of wind up there Let's square this up. Well, it's not pretty, but it's on. That was close.
Another birdie. Another birdie. Well, Jack's won as the double of quits with another bird. Looks like you're buying the drinks, Rob. <laughs> hey? Hey? I forgot my wallet. He's forgotten his wallet. Yeah, right. Right, we will see you on the 18th tee and we'll, we'll have a little bit of a laugh down the 18th if we can. We've lost Andy, where's he gone? He's gone home. He's gone home, he's had enough. Right, the 18th. Down the hill and round to the right. Unfortunately, the tee box is on the right today, which means it's a bit awkward. Here's Andy. Probably stop for a pee. Right, mate, the last hole. We're going to drive at this, or are we going to chicken out and hit five irons? Well, we'll hit, we'll hit driver. Still. Let's hit driver. Yeah. yeah. All right, man. No pressure. That was a little straight. That was uh, that was gone through the fairway. Oh, that's a little tight. Oh, that was timber, unfortunately. Don't know, I didn't hear wood there. That was down the left with a little fade. So, state of play. Rob is over by the third tee that way. There's a ball here, Jack. Jack has carried everything with his three wood. Probably hit that tree that he stood beside, so that was a hell of a big hit with a three. Andy might be in the trees there. I'm down here somewhere, yet to find it. But now I've just seen Andy play a ball down, so I'm going to assume he got through all of those trees. All right, just tidying up on number 18. Oh. Or not tidying up. Yeah, All right then, gents. Thank you very much for coming. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, gents. I'd shake your hand, but we can't. 
Oh, we're doing uh, we're doing putter taps here. Yeah, putter taps. Putter taps. Right. Right. So, cheers. All right, time for something cold and wet. Yep. Thank you very much, and good night.